Check out Qualcomm's latest addition to its Snapdragon lineup, the Snapdragon 6 South Gen 3. This new chip comes with some interesting updates, but is it worth the hype? Let's dive into the details. First off, if you're familiar with Qualcomm's naming scheme, you might know that the S usually indicates a step-down model. And yep, that's exactly what the Snapdragon 6 South Gen 3 is, a lower-tier option in the series. But don't let that fool you. This chip, available in both for GSM6370 and 5GSM6375AC variants, packs a punch despite its modest origins. Based on the Snapdragon 695 from 2021, which was later revamped as the Snapdragon for Gen 1 SM for 375, this new 6 South Gen 3 runs on a 6 nanometers TSMC node with an overclocked CPU boasting to Cortex-A78 cores at up to 2.3 GHz and 6 Cortex-A55 cores at up to 2. Point. Now, let's talk specs. The Snapdragon 6 South Gen 3 features an Adreno 619 GPU, a fast Connect 6200 modem, and supports LPDDR for XRAM and UFS to point to storage. But here's the kicker, its camera ISP only supports up to 1080p at 60fps video capture which might feel a bit outdated in 2024. Comparing it to its predecessor, the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 from 2022, the differences are clear. The 6 Gen 1 rocks a for nanometers chip, more powerful Adreno 710 GPU. LPDDR5 RAM, UFS 3.1 storage, a fast Connect 6700 modem, and for k at 30fps video capture support, making it a more robust choice. But hey, don't count out the Snapdragon 6 South Gen 3 just yet. With devices like the Motorola G85 on the horizon, we're excited to see how this chip performs in real-world scenarios. Stay tuned for more updates.